Um, I'd like to now welcome okay. another good friend of mine, <laughs> Louis Damour. Uh, Louis is the founder and chairman of the International Institute for Peace Through Tourism. He's joining us from New York this morning, as far as I know. And um, Louis also has been all over the world. His conferences are, has been set, they have been setting trends. I still remember the conference you had in Geneva where uh, Israel and Palestine shook hands on the stage. Uh, so I, I remember when you and I, we went to uh, Iran and talked at the Supreme Commission. I think it's the first two Americans ever allowed to speak at the, uh, I think it was called the, the Hall of the People, um, and we had a full audience. So, uh, Louis, we've, we've um, worked together now for, for quite some time, and it's an honor to have you uh, with us this morning. It's all yours. Thomas, uh, thank you very much. Can you hear me? We can hear you fine. Okay, great. Uh, congratulations on all you're doing, uh, together with uh, Peter Tarlow and uh, Dr. Rafai. Uh, it's a tremendous initiative that you have moving here. Uh, the thoughts that have occurred to me as I've listened in the past hour is um, we're, we're bringing a lot of good people together and getting a lot of good ideas. I'm just wondering if uh, we might give some thought proactively to other organizations that might be involved. I'm thinking, for example, of Skoll International. Which uh, has, uh, uh, Louis, if I can just interrupt you here real quick. Skoll International, I just talked to the president yesterday from New Zealand, and they joined actually our initiative together, and I forgot to mention this in the beginning, also with the resilient, um, uh, uh, global resilient uh, project from Minister Bartlett, and uh, we have Lloyd actually from Jamaica later on um, uh, introducing it. So just for your info, excellent. this is brand new. We haven't announced it yet. Uh, excellent. That's great, Thomas. Uh, and the other thought is um, uh, I've begun to put together, particularly now related to your uh, project HOPE in Africa, uh, a list of African academics that might become involved in the training initiatives as we move forward in Africa. And, and then this could be extended uh, globally with the collaboration of people like Jafar Jafari and Don Hawkins. The other thought is the young people have increasingly shown a lot of creativity, not just in tourism, but uh, generally with regards to global issues, including climate change. And I wonder if we might reach out to young people in the industry uh, maybe interns, pe people in uh, universities who might get involved in uh, developing their own creative initiatives and joining with us uh, with their creativity and volunteering in various uh, areas of what, what we do going forward. Thank you very much, Lloyd. And uh, again, it, it's great to have you on the team and, and whenever there is a crisis in the world, mm -hmm. Louis um, always has been there and he is uh, always taking a lead with his um, very well regarded philosophy, a philosophy of peace through tourism. Thanks again. Thank and, you, Thomas. Um, I like